What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Forza Horizon 2 where we are going to be doing a Rally Lamborghini Aventador. Now, this has not really been done before as far as uh, as far as my channel goes and I know that there were uh, some of you guys that were saying I should totally do one on spin tires and unfortunately no one has made a... Uh, Aventador mod for spin tires just yet, but when they do I promise you I will cover it now um, The thing is though. I feel like we could I feel like I could just do a Aventador rally car here in horizon 2 to just get a little bit of off-roady Lamborghini-ness um, Until with until we finally get one in spin tires now. Let's go ahead and find it real quick and Oh, yes, here we go this is gonna be ridiculous, guys. I'm not even gonna like. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like try to figure out something else to say about that. It's just gonna be ridiculous. Now, apparently, we cannot select lime green straight from the factory, which is uh, actually completely preposterous because Verde Ithaca should be a color choice. But um, actually, this lime green metal flake works perfectly um, to replicate Verde Ithaca. And the the metal flake in that paint just makes it look even better. So, um, I feel like going with that was actually a really good choice. The lime green all-wheel drive V12 rally car. This is gonna be a beast. I'm just saying right now. It doesn't even matter if it's not you know ridiculously fast. And you know what? You know what? Just because of the fact that this is a um, completely off the wall build, we're gonna be maxing the horsepower. 100% maxing the horsepower. We're going to be raising up the suspension on rally everything and <laughs> honestly, I can't wait to drive it. It's going to be ridiculous. It looks so weird raised up like that. Honestly, you know what it looks like it is it's in it looks like it's in its uh like speed bump clearing mode. From here, let's go ahead and do a full race the race weight reduction. And let's see what else we want. We want, first of all, we're going to upgrade everything, uh, race everything, but, except for the transmission, we're going for a, ra uh, yeah, yeah, rally transmission, again, full rally build, so, why not, all out, race diff, alright, now, we need, we need rally, t this is probably the first time, it, or really the only time anybody will really ever put rally tires on a Lamborghini, but, um, that's what we do around here. So, the front tire width, we've got 255s up front right now. We're going to upgrade to 285s in the front. And in the rear, we've got 335s. Good grief. 335s. We're going to upgrade those to 365s. Ridiculous amount of tire. Ridiculous. Now for the wheels. Let's see. It's gonna, I feel like all of them are gonna look a little bit odd because of the, um, again, because it's an off-road, um, off-road application Aventador, which, again, you don't really ever see. But you know what? Honestly, these look alright. Um, and, again, it looks really weird with all that wheel gap, but it doesn't matter because we're going for a, going for a little bit of a different approach than usual. So, the, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not, not the drivetrain swap. Twin turbos. Oh, yes. Not pulling any punches with this particular build. 795. I mean, I already know we're going to be over a 1,000 horsepower. The thing with it is, I've never experienced this off-road. And who knows, we might be breaking records, we might be breaking trees. It all depends on um, whether we can keep this thing on the actual course or not. It's now up to X class, 999 PI. 908 horsepower. Come on then. 992 horsepower. 1059 horsepower lifted off road twin turbo Aventador. Um, this is going to be ridiculous. I'm just excited. I'm just ridiculously excited right now. Oh, oh man, it's at night during a storm, too. That's gonna make it even crazier. Just gonna kind of drive calmly up to, uh, where are we going? Let's 
let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's fast travel to right... Meh, right... Here. Because I know exactly where I want to take it. And I know exactly what I want my first... Um, I guess you could say stunt, quote-unquote, with this car to be. Spin it around real quick. Full power, let's do this. Ridiculously fast, as you might imagine. But the thing is, with the rally gearbox, you got great acceleration, but you're actually limited to 159. Or a 160, 161. And you know what? For that reason, let me see. Can we tune those ratios? Yes, we can. It just puts us up to 440 gears, which is ridiculous. Let's bring them back down to like... Mm, we'll try 373. I still need more speed out of it. I still need more speed out of it. It's still bouncing off the rev limiter. Bring it down. Let's try. Let's try it right there. Let's see if it's any better. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and go! <laughs> oh, my God. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, we have got to try that again. We have got to try that to try bleh, to try that again. And you know what though? We're gonna go back and change it to a race gearbox instead of a rally gearbox, but we have got to try that again. What a ridiculous car. I mean, that was probably the highest I've ever gone off of that jump. Literally ever. Um, no other car that I've ever taken off that jump has been able to come close to that, to that, uh, amount of height. So, um, this thing is off to a ridiculous start already. Alright, switching back to a race gearbox. And, you know what, actually, let's just make sure that it didn't keep our... It did keep our gearing. Hold on. Let's, first of all, let's switch it back to stock. And then see if that resets. No, you know what? We don't even need to do that. We can reset the tune right here. I don't know why I was thinking about that. Setup manager and reset default tuning. I'm wondering. Okay, so. Not too bad as far as where we're sitting with the race gear box and the, and the ratio difference between the race gear box and the rally gearbox, it just definitely, I, I, I'm pretty confident it's going to make a big difference here. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute for sure if this difference, uh, or if it actually made that the difference that I'm hoping it would make, or I was hoping it would make. It does put down power surprisingly well in the rain for a 1,000 plus horsepower car. I mean, that's, that's the part you have to include, the 1,000 plus horsepower. You have to kind of include that as a little bit of a, a little bit of a condition. Oh yeah, it's much quicker. I mean, it's just flying all over the place already. It's as much of a challenge actually keeping it in a straight line as it is keeping it on the road. That, <laughs> this thing is just crazy, and I love it because of that. It's just so crazy. And now we're going to actually take it on some rally stages, or some rally stage sections, I should say. Even with the rally tires, it just kind of slides. I mean, honestly, it's raining, so it's muddy out, but we, so we kind of have to be a little bit more vigilant. Your new WRC car, a Lamborghini Aventador, a lifted Lamborghini Aventador, that's your new WRC car. Honestly, that wouldn't be too bad of a WRC car. I'd watch WRC if that was in it. Honestly, I still, still love watching rallying, but if they stuck this on a rally stage, oh damn. Bit like the Bentley that they did on, um, that they stuck on a rally stage on Top Gear. Oh, come on, I was actually kind of doing decently well in that speed zone. 
Didn't want to rewind out of that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh, 90.5. My personal best was 96.26. So, eh. I mean, I did rewind, so it's not really legit. But either way, wasn't a bad run. And you know what, honestly, especially for the fact that we're off-road, this thing is way more controllable than you would ever expect a thousand plus horsepower car to be. I mean, yes, it's all-wheel drive, but even all-wheel drive cars can get a little bit squirrely at times, and yes, this will get squirrely on you if you let it, but the actual, um, the actual process of controlling it is nowhere close to as bad as you might think. Come on, get it. Jeez, get it back on the freaking road this thing is a beast <laughs> it is an unruly beast of a car but i love it absolutely love it for that reason oh crap uh, come on come on come on oh 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 that's not gone well has it <laughs> let's just take it purely off road not even c concern ourselves with any of the uh, actual actual like gravel pathways thought there was something over here besides trees Apparently not. I mean, we've kind of found ourselves back... Jeez. But no, back on a roadway, unfortunately. I kind of want to... Whoa, okay. Found it. Wow, no, never mind. I, I found a hill, and I kind of wanted to use it for jumping, but... Let's see. Can we use it? Oh, yeah. Should be able to. Oh, we can use that. Oh, we can use that. Honestly, I think I might just start just doing jumps with this car that might just be all i end up doing with it is just oh yeah it's my jump car full power let's see what you got now full power and go <laughs> not the highest jump i've done on storm island but definitely fun and I definitely feel like this car may become just a jump car in the future. Because it's got the speed for it. It's got truckloads of... Hi! It's got truckloads of speed, though. Ridiculous amounts of it. And I feel like if we hit this in the other direction, it should provide us with some decent lift. Yeah, I think we can turn around at this point. I think we're... <laughs> Far enough to this side that we can start to get turned around and head back the other way. Now, if I could only remember where that hill was. Crap, I've completely forgotten. I've misplaced that hill. Oh, this is it. Eh, not that much. Honestly, it wasn't too good. Whoa! <laughs> Just stick with it. Stick with it, and eventually you'll find a decent spot to jump. I mean, yes, I know I could use one of the conventional jumps. You know, that's already built built into one of those roadways. But honestly, I kind of like just finding random jumps in the environment. They seem to be just a little bit more entertaining. Okay. And they seem to send you a little bit higher in the air, which is always a bonus. I think I found one. Or at least one that would work as uh, as one for that purpose. Well, you know what? The the fact that there was a wall there kind of ruined it. <laughs> kind of ruined it. Is that... L Is there a lip up there? Like a lip for a jump? Now that might actually work. That might actually work. I love how we're just like this video just entirely turned into a jump hunting video. Is that a discount board yeah well let's see if this works as decently as it uh as it may have looked come on oh not too bad i mean it goes straight into a guardrail but not too bad <laughs> this this entire video has just turned into me driving around looking for jump spots because honestly that's what this car is good for And if you control it, it's great. It's great. It stays on the road, which is a plus. 
Um, I mean, well, duh, yeah, but, like, though it's a plus, but still, it's definitely a plus for this thing to stay on the road. Some of these kind of max power builds, they don't even want to stay on the road. This one, it does, it wants to hold the road, um, it wants to, it, actually, it really wants to eat up these rally stages, which is brilliant. I feel like racing a massive group of these online would be so crazy, yet so fun at the same time. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 not good at all. There you go. Kind of need to practice that corner in this car. It can be a little bit weird getting used to different cars on that corner. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that a new personal best? Yes, 101.72. I mean, it's not a great speed for that section, but it's not terrible. Oh, another jump. Let's see what this thing has. Oh, yeah. Very stable on landings, too. That's another thing I noticed about this car. It's very stable on jump landings. You can enter and exit corners at ridiculous speeds. Absolutely ridiculous speeds. And it does these really nice four-wheel slides. Hi, Raptor. Goodbye, Raptor. Ow. Afternoon. Oh, no. Yeah, I hate those rocks. <laughs> New personal best, even though I rewound, hit a Raptor, and hit a rock. What does that say about my personal previous be about my previous personal best? Not much. Not much at all. But um I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off right there, but if you guys enjoyed this pretty freaking ridiculous build, um then don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.